Hey everybody, today I wanted to show you how you can take your Windows 10 computer and de-bloat it, meaning you can take all the extra programs and anything that it normally comes with that you don't want on there, you can take it off. So like the Windows search, the news and interest, anything like that that you normally wouldn't use, including the Xbox bar, so we're going to show you exactly on Windows 10 how to do that. Now this will work if you have a brand new computer, if you just reinstalled Windows 10, or if you've had it on there for a while and you just want to get rid of some of the stuff that came with it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Microsoft Edge. And then I'm going to take you to a website where we can download this script. Now I really like this script because it has three different versions for you. And I'm going to show you that. So I've already copied this, but I'm going to put a link down below in the description so that you can just go and copy and paste this in there and it'll pull up this Windows 10 debloater. Now, when you get there, you'll notice there's three different ones. There's a debloater, a debloater GUI, and a sys prep debloater. Now you may be wondering, well, what are all three of those? Well, they put a nice little description right here. The SysPrep one is just a silent version that utilizes certain parameters. Like, it'll automatically do it, and it'll uh, remove it so that you don't have to even answer anything. Now, the Windows 10 Debloater is a script that gives you interactive prompts. And um, it's the one that most people are going to use. But here's the thing, if you're not very familiar with what things are and you just want it to be super easy, you can just use the Windows 10 Debloater GUI. That may be the one that's the easiest for you. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download this. So let's go and let's download this. And what you can do is we're going to download the zip file. So we're going to go and we're going to download this right here. If you click on code and you click on download zip, that'll zap download all those files for you. Now that it's finished, I'm going to click on this little folder and it's going to open up my downloads folder. Now I'm just going to right click on that and I'm going to tell it to extract all and just click extract. And then it's going to show me that folder with all those files. So here's that folder and there's all the individual files. Now, it tells you exactly what you need to do if you come back over here to the page. This web page, if you scroll down just a little bit, see it says download it, extract it, and then you have to open the PowerShell as an administrator. So we're gonna do exactly that, but this makes it really, really easy for you to get rid of some of those programs that you don't even need. So we're gonna click on Start, and then I'm just gonna type in PowerShell and there it is, and I'm going to right click on it and run as administrator. And then if it prompts you, do you want to run it as administrator? Go ahead and click yes. All right, now that I've got it open, I'm going to resize it just so that I can see the web page. And it wants you to put this execution code in. So I'm actually going to make it easy on myself and I'm just going to copy it. So I'm going to right click and copy. And then I'm going to go back to the PowerShell and I'm going to click on the little icon right here and go edit and then I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to press enter. Okay, that worked. So now we're going to go to the downloads folder. So if you'll give me a moment, I'm going to make it really easy. I'm just going to copy this from here. I'm going to type CD space. And then I'm going to paste it in there and press enter. And now it immediately puts me into that folder. Now, what they were saying is you can just run the normal one or you can run the GUI. I'm going to do the GUI for you just so that you can see it. But some of you take people out there, you may not need the GUI. You can go and just do the normal one, the Windows 10 Debloater. You don't need the GUI interface. But I do think this one is easier. So I'm going to go ahead and open that one up. And then it says, are you sure? And I'm going to go ahead and say run once. So I'm going to put an R and press enter.
there you go. So it finally opened it up and you can customize the block list. You can remove all the bloatware. You can remove the bloatware with custom block list. And then you can revert your registry changes. You can enable or disable Cortana. You can enable or disable PDF opening and edge. You can enable or disable the dark thing. You can see everything right there, but it makes it really, really easy when you have that GUI interface. Now, everything you see here is still available if you don't use the GUI interface. You just have to do it inside the PowerShell. But I thought that may make it easier for y'all. Now, if you want to, and I'm going to go ahead and do it, all you have to do is just click Remove All Bloatware. There you go. And all it's going to do, it's going to remove everything for you. I mean, you can see in the background it's working right here. It's stopping the install service. It's setting the install startup to disable. It's removing the bloatware apps. And if I move this around, you can see all those apps that it's getting rid of. The Microsoft Office Hub, the PPI Projection, the Xbox game, another Xbox game. I mean, the list just keeps going on and on. But it's basically removing all of those extra programs that most people don't even need. Now, if you are a gamer, of course, you don't want to remove the Xbox stuff. You'll want to leave that on there. But for the rest of the people who don't need it, just go ahead and remove it. So let's give it just a few moments. Okay, so as you can see, it has finished all the tasks that we've sent it. So now all I have to do is back here on the Windows 10 Debloater GUI, I can just close out of it because we're finished with it. You've already removed all the bloatware. Now, of course, you can do some of the other stuff. You can turn off Cortana, disable Edge PDFs, and you can do, you know, uninstall OneDrive. But I'm just going to leave it and just go ahead and close this. And then there you go. Now it went back to the PowerShell where I can put in some more commands if I want to. So I really hope that was helpful on how you can debloat your Windows 10, get rid of some of those other programs that you don't need on your computer, especially if your computer can barely run the Windows 10 as it is. You know, you may not need the Xbox. You may not need the Edge pulling up all your PDFs. You may want it to open up an Adobe Reader instead. So doing all those things would really speed up your computer. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you have a video that you'd like me to make for you, please let me know that too. I'll be more than happy to make that. And as always, because y'all do such a great job, and I love putting up these videos for you all, if you can, please hit that like button and subscribe so I can keep putting up more great content. I appreciate you all, and I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.